everybody. Welcome to Kilmer's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, oops, <laughs> tonight's movie, Land of Bad. I'm excited. Um, this not only has Liam Hemsworth in it, but also Luke Hemsworth. So, exciting. Russell Crowe is also in this. And Milo Ventimiglia. I don't know if that's how you say it. You know who he is. If you've seen, a lot of people will recognize my man here from This Is Us. I haven't watched that yet. It's on my list. I want to check it out. They say it's a great TV show. I, I think I first found him myself in Heroes. Of course, <laughs> I watched Heroes. Great TV show. Ended too early. Um, but here's one I'll, I'll give it to you. So I'm just, just going down a Milo a little rabbit hole real quick. The Divide. You, that's a movie like, you know, I see actors. I'm like, I like him. And then I look for and I'm like, oh, he's in this movie. Let me check that out. The Divide. You got to check that out now. That's safe. Be safe. And I don't think I've done a review. I know that was before review time. That is one of the most uncomfortable movies I think I've ever seen. Um, but it is. I mean, if you're into the, like, not weird, but weird. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it. But off-setting type movie. Off-putting. You should be off-putting. <laughs> but that movie was like, wow. I thought it was well done and, and the way it made me feel. So... Anyway, check that out. This this movie, however, is uh, when an Army ODA team is ambushed, their only hope lies with the Air Force JTAC, which is Liam Hemsworth, and a drone pilot, which is Russell Crowe, to guide them to the brutal 48-hour battle survival. Sorry, I didn't even read it before I got in. I just saw the actors and was like, we're doing it, right? That's the way I roll. 6.5 in IMDb, 6,597 people rated it so far. So it is a little bit longer for a weeknight movie. I get it, but I, I can't pass it up if it's there. One hour and 53 minutes. So I got to go. Got to get it in. I'll check it out, let you know if it's worth the extra time on a weeknight. I'll, I'll really just tell you if I like the film or not. But stick around. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Land of Bad. It just sounds weird when you say it like that. It's like Land of the Bad, but Land of Bad. Um, and I tell you what, I shouldn't say surprisingly, but I will say, surprisingly, I really enjoyed this film. I mean, I went in with pretty decent expectations, and when the movie started, um, I don't know, I didn't feel at first it was separating itself from other similar movies. So this is basically, you know, a couple of... Um, you know, um, yeah, military people going over into the land of bad, you know, where, where there seems to be some hostiles, if you will, um, to try and get an asset back, right? And uh, it's kind of a covert operation. I know, I'm hitting all the buzzwords right here. And, uh, you know, they're, they're all like tough guys and have done this many, many times, including Milo and um, Luke um, Hemsworth and then the other guy, there was another guy in it too. Um, which I'll probably get his name here, but it doesn't matter, right? And then Liam Hemsworth, he's kind of the guy who helps the drone. So he radios back. He's not like, a, you know, like the other kind of soldiers. He's just the kind of, he's not really, you know, hasn't been in the field that much and doesn't really shoot and kill people. He just tells the drone what to do and all that kind of stuff. So he's kind of green, and this is like his second mission, right? And so they're going over, and as you can imagine, things don't go as easily as planned, and bad things happen, and they got to kind of fight and survive and, um, you know, take care of each other kind of stuff. And, you know, somebody might step up a little bit more than other people. Um, but it, in the beginning, like I said, it started out slow. I mean, as, you know, the, the mission is developing. Oh, and Russell Crowe is the, the drone flyer. So he's back on base in Las Vegas driving, driving the flown or <laughs> flying the drone. Drive, that, that was pretty wild. Um, flying the drone and communicating with Liam um, for all of that kind of stuff. And there's side stories as well with him and his character and people around him as well as the soldiers. Um, so they do a good job of keeping you interested not only in what's going on on the mission but what's going on in the background at the uh, military base. Um, and so and I'll, I'll say something about that in a little bit. But I said it starts off slow in a sense, not that it was, you know, I mean, they're, they're parachuting and, you know, they're walking through woods, but, or, or I guess jungle, um, woods, forest, whatever, you know, trees and stuff, and, and, you know, trying to protect themselves, making sure, 
you know, nobody gets hurt as they're going through all this, but you've seen that kind of before. And I, I immediately thought to myself, this is going to be very similar to other movies. Well, it doesn't. It does. It starts to escalate um, and, and really get a lot more interesting. And I bring it back to Behind Enemy Lines was one, if you've seen that. Great movie, Owen Wilson. It's got a little feel of that. Maybe slightly a little bit Black Hawk Down, not so much. Um, but that's what I was thinking. But really, Behind Enemy Lines is, a, is one that it, it relates to a lot. So if you enjoyed that one, this one's very similar in a sense and so that's the vibe that you're going into this with and then like I said it just gets better and better and um, you know I don't I don't want to spoil anymore I'm just thinking about like there's certain points where it's like oh and it's like ah oh. <laughs> it's like one of those kinds of things but it does it also keeps you you know because they're life or death you're at your edge of the seat there's a lot of um, anticipation going on you know and uh, which makes it a lot of fun so I, I really enjoyed it uh, and I liked like, again the characters the, the soldiers in the field as well as Russell Crowe and what's going on there and so um, I'm at a six or a seven on this one I was that, that pleased with it at first I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna gonna be that great and and stick with it and if you like these types of movies you're gonna really enjoy this one and uh, a lot of fun and I'm just going to say this, I don't think it's going to be a spoiler alert, but just in case, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, I'm not going to ruin the movie, I'm not, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about, really like, at a time like this now, is it that common that, you know, there's soldiers on the ground in a hostile territory, and, and they need help, right, from a drone, and it's on that military base, is it that, does that happen that much that, you know, some of the other um, military personnel who aren't involved, can go and do what they want, like watch March Madness. That's what they were doing. They were watching March Madness while this whole thing was going down. Wouldn't they all be on somewhat of a high alert, especially when the only phone, that's the only other thing, the phone, like really, there's only one landline there that you can call. There's nobody else that you can call and get through to anybody. That was one of the things that I didn't like, but it adds to the whole movie, yeah, right? You know, but it's, it's like, really? Maybe that's true. Maybe that's the only way it works. It's that one phone in a common area. I don't know. Um, quite possible. I'll have to ask somebody if that's really true. But with all that being said, I forgot about that piece being, eh. Are they really going to sit there and watch March Madness? Take the phone off the hook. Of the only way you can contact, you know, uh, a military base with a very critical mission and people's lives in danger. Right? I, I You know... Can they do that, take that time and do that? And two, really, that's the only connection. So there's there's the big gripe with me. So there you go. Glad I got that out. Feel a lot better. Check it out. If you like these types of movies, maybe you'll enjoy it a little bit long, but worth it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.